connecting to the greater good. The world, <laughs> the world around us, is is an artificial contemporary illusion or dream that we're all predicting uh, via a some sort of central uh, vortex of of intelligence central vortex of intelligence when you can think about that you can think that the central vortex of intelligence needs frequency to evolve around it and within this paradigm or or, or thinking that we are evolving around something is essentially what's keeping us linked to this uh, this artificial self. Now, the true self doesn't have a sense of attachment. It only has a sense of affection, a sense of manifestation, a sense of uh, truth. <laughs> and the true self will will manifest and develop a, a sense of realism to uh, serve a higher sense of gratitude or serve a higher devotion to to love generosity as the the true self can start to understand that the attachment to this um to this paradigm or to this you know vortex of 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 injustice is is not necessary for for love for the from the heart so with saying this it's it's very important to move forward um, knowing that we're moving forward for a better good because we can understand and start to predict and start to determine a, a higher self uh, to, uh, to guide the path to our present moment. Because in the reality which we're living in, we are coming from a, a place of time and time is an illusion, so a place of existence that has potentially already manifested or already evolved to a um, to a sense of awareness, and where we are in this present moment is only a prediction of a of a calculation, and within that calculation we are analysing and obsessing to a a certain um, point of attention which is keeping us enclosed and keeping us uh, thinking in a very predictable way so when we can access a sense of love or a sense of truth or a sense of purpose and purpose is only finding love you know someone's purpose is finding love because the essence of love is the code to the heart and and people believe purpose is essentially is essentially just a path and if we're walking on the path we feel purpose but the path is guided from love to love, the essence of our unique um, expression to a higher expression, and how we get there is essentially just a, a sense of a path, which we could call purpose. But purpose can also be called truth. Our truth, you know, how are we walking towards the true truth of ourselves? So it's all fun and games because once we can understand that this reality, this world, is only a contemporary illusion, it's only a dream that is being manifested from a predictable source. And when we can step outside of our predictability, we start to access a higher sense of awareness which we can, we can in, input into this world and, and, and gain a sense of um, wisdom to our infinite uh, creation or our infinite existence of the higher self so but it's nothing to be taken seriously you know often this false um, this world really thrives when we don't know because it the mind works on what it does know and when we don't know something we become ignorant to it a lot of the time we we start to cast out information because we can't connect to it well, that's the truth of the heart, is the more we can start to connect with the heart, the more we start to phase out the mind and the more we start to walk towards um, not knowing and accepting the unknown rather than only searching for what we do know.